We're now, okay, we're now moving on to area. Area is the amount of surface enclosed by the shape. It's measured, measured in square units such as meter squared, kilometer squared, centimeter squared, etc. We'll do two examples here. Now for many shapes there are formula used, used to find the area of simple shapes. Uh, the textbook gives you a summary of some of the formulas for some typical shapes that we do. Square, rectangle, parallelogram, triangle, trapezium, kite, circle and rhombus. Worked example 8 just has two shapes. First shape is a circle. So we need to find the formula for the area of a circle and the formula for the area of a circle is area equals pi r squared. So what we do is simply substitute into this formula. So the area equals pi times by, and I've measured this up, it's 2.7 centimetres, so it's pi times 2.7 squared. So all that we have done here is instead of r, we put 2.7 because that radius is 2.7. So we've just substituted in the known measurement and then we put that into our calculator. Area equals pi times 2.7 squared and that area is approximately 22.9022144. Keeps going. Let's round it off to one decimal place like it says. So it's approximately there's the first decimal place. We look at the second one. It's less than 5, so we leave this first one as is. The area is approximately 22.9 centimetres squared. Okay, let's look at the second example, the second shape. We identify this shape as a kite. The formula for the area of a kite is area equals 1 half x, y. x is this distance here, y is this distance here. So I've put those measurements in, so we just substitute half times by this was our x, so 4.9, this was our y, which is 7.2. So we've substituted in, so we simply put that into our calculator, 1 half times 4.9 times 7.2, which is equal to 17.64 centimetres squared. If I just go back up to the question, correct to one decimal place. So one decimal place, I look at the second decimal place, it's less than five, so I leave that first decimal point alone. The area is approximately 17.6 centimetres squared. So just a reminder, area is the amount of surface enclosed by the shape. Remember the units of centimetre squared, millimetre squared, kilometre squared, whatever is appropriate there, and identify what the shape is. Um, once we've identified the shape, we then put in the appropriate formula for the shape, and then it's a matter of tr substituting in the values for the measurements.